hi good morning students in our first session in the chapter electricity we studied about electric current charge circuit diagram so what is circuit diagram a circuit diagram it a continuous closed path of an electric current is called as electric circuit what why we are going to make this circuit diagram why we are going to draw this circuit diagram because when you are going to look at the motherboards of the computer or when you are going to look at the motherboards of your mobile phone also the circuits are very very small they are very small that but before preparing the mobile before inventing the mobile or before making the making the mobile they are going to draw the circuit diagrams to adjust the what the uh, to adjust the uh, mobile equipments in the motherboard the electrical engineers are going to represent the electrical connections in the in the form of an a diagram so when the electrical engineers are come to the new house they are going to draw the electrical diagram a circuit diagram so that's why these circuit diagrams are helpful so under this circuit diagram we are going to study some of the symbols they are going to represents they are going to represent the symbols the what are the equipments used in a connection electrical connections they are going to represents in a symbols for example in this circuit diagram this is the symbol of the bulb this is the symbol of the battery this is the symbol of the plug so some of the symbols are used by the electrical engineers to represents that equipment so what are that symbols see see here symbols used in circuit diagram this see first symbol this first symbol represents electric cell this first symbol represents electric cell then see the second one here is the combination of cells electric cells are there here two three electric cells are there then it represents battery or a combination of cells next one see here this is the open plug if there is a no dot or if there is a no any row here is there then it is a open plug that is a closed plug next one is the closed plug this if the point or if any row is present in this diagram in this symbol that represents the closed plug next you are going to see here this is the symbol of wire joint for example when you are going to see the electrical connections in your home at the some points of in your electrical home in a home the electrical wires the electrical conductors are going to be joined at the some point for example at the dc you have seen these all the electric the electric current come from the dc to to all 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 the rooms of your house so all the electrical joints are going to be jointed at dc at that point they are going to draw this type of diagram that is wire joint next one is this c here this one is the wire crossing without joint see at the some points in the in your home or in your electrical connections there is no requirement of the joint to under one wire they are going to cross the wire so in that type in the in the that condition the represent of representation of that electrical connection will be used by this symbol that is wire crossing joint next one is see here this is the symbol of electrical bulb as you know already next one this one is a very important this is a resistor what is resistor resistor it is nothing but the opposition opposition made by any conductor so when the charges are flowing through any conductor the opposite force will be acted so that is known as the resistance so some of the resistors are used in the electrical circuit so this symbol represents that resistor and next one is rheostat this rheostat is nothing but combination that is another one another one type of the resistor okay this rheostat is nothing but uh, in this in this rheostat we are going to control the resistance okay next one is this this symbol represents the ammeter ammeter we are going to use in the electrical circuit under one this v symbol represents the voltmeter see listen carefully here these are very important symbols when you are going to study electricity chapter because in a next in a next session we are going to study some problems on that so in that session we are going to represent a circuit diagram 
using that circuit diagram we are going to calculate the potential difference electric current resistance resistors so these symbols are very important using these symbols we are going to represent a electrical circuit diagram and also in your examination from these symbols one question should be asked for one marks they are going to give us symbols then they are going to ask the represent what they are represents okay you have to look carefully you have to remember carefully next we are going to study about a potential difference what is potential difference work done to move a unit of charge from one point to the other point what is potential difference work done to move a unit charge from one point to another point yes in pre previous session we study about electric current what is electric current flow of charges so i am considering here one conductor i am considering one conductor so electric current is flow of charges from this point to this point but what is potential difference is work done to move a charge from this point to this point to move a charge from this point to this point we we need energy we need energy so that energy that is the potential difference work done to move a unit charge that energy is nothing but the potential difference work done to move to move a unit charge from one point to the another point that is represented by the capital letter v potential difference will be represented by the capital letter v therefore that is the potential difference v is equal to work done divided by charge that is q why because the potential difference is nothing but work done to move a unit charge from one point to the another point work done to move a unit charge from one point to the another point it is nothing but potential difference so that is potential difference is equal to work done divided by charge here v represents the potential difference w represents work done q represents a charge so si unit of this potential difference is volt so we are going to measure the potential difference in terms of the volt what it means if the potential difference of a conductor of a 1 meter conductor is 1 volt then what it means it it means that 1 joule amount of work will be done to carry to carry one charge from one point to another point that is 1 joule of work done in carrying one coulomb charge i got understood what is 1 volt is 1 volt is nothing but the 1 joule of work done will be done by carrying one coulomb of charge one of the physics scientist called his name as ohms he studied about potential difference across a conductor and makes an law that law is called it as a ohms law what he states what it, the what the ohms law states the statement is the potential difference across the two points of a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the current passing through the circuit provided that the temperature remains constant that is at the constant temperature the potential difference across the two points of a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the current passing through the circuit so what it is what he, what it states the potential difference across a conductor is directly proportional to the current passing through the conductor as the current passing through the conductor is increases the potential difference also increases provided that the temperature remains constant see here the potential difference v represents the potential difference according to the ohms law potential difference is directly proportional to the i i means electric current so it implies us v is equal to ir where r is where r is called as the resistance constant what is resistance constant see listen here every conductor has its own resistance so that resist what it means what is what is the property of the resistance what is resistance is it is the pro property of a conductor to resist the flow of charges through it what is 
रेजिस्टेंस इज इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ए कंडक्टर टू रेजिस्ट फ्लो ऑफ चार्जेस थ्रू इट सो वेन द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट पासिंग थ्रू द कंडक्टर एनी कंडक्टर सो द every metallic conductor or every conductor has some resistance so what it means what what it can do it resist the flow of charges it resists the flow of charges so every conductor has the resistance the si unit of this resistance is ohm that is that will be represented by the italic letter ohm the si unit of the resistance is ohm so what are the factors affecting the resistance of a conductor so what is what is the use of the resistance or what are the factors that affecting the resistance of a conductor first one is the resistance of a uniform metallic conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor so as the length of the conductor increases the resistance of the conductor increases what it means so we supply 1 joule of amount of energy or 1 joule of amount of charges to the one conductor from one point to the another point due to the resistance due to the resistance it can't move from a to b from one point to another point it ends at the another one point because of the resistance as the resistance increases as the resistance of the conductor increases the as the length of the conductor increases the resistance also increases as the resistance increases we need we require large amount of energy so our energy so lots of em and energy will be wasted as the increase in the resistance so re length of the so what the factor the resistance will be affected what is what it is depends on is the resistance of a uniform metallic conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor as the length of the conductor increases resistance of the conductor also increases as the length of the conductor decreases the resistance of the conductor decreases under one uh, under one property the resistance of a conductor inversely proportional to the area of cross section of the conductor so as the area of the cross section of the conductor as the area of cross section means if you considering a conductor the area of cross section this is the area of cross section is if the area of cross section increases then the resistance decreases if the area of cross section decreases the resistance increases so what it means resistance of a conductor inversely not a directly inversely proportional to the area of the cross section of the conductor as the area of the cross section of the conductor increases resistance decreases as the area of the cross section of a conductor decreases resistance increases so now we are going to take first equation as r is directly proportional to the l that is r the resistance of a conductor directly proportional to the length of the conductor as equation 1 then now take the r is inversely proportional to the area of the cross section of the conductor a represents area of the cross section of the conductor r is inversely inversely proportional to the area of the cross section of a conductor that will be taken as equation number 2 so under one factor which affect the resistance of a conductor is the temperature as resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to the temperature of the conductor if the temperature of the conductor increases resistance also increases if the temperature of the conductor decreases resistance also decreases that is resistance of a uniform metallic conductor is directly proportional to the temperature you, students you have to remember these three points with the ohms law these are very important the, and the expression for ohms law v potential difference v is equal to ir based on this in your examination one question should be asked for two marks and also with the combination of questions they are going to ask a three marks question that is explain or state the ohms law and write down the factors of effect affecting resistance of a conductor these three points are very important if you write these three points with the ohms law you get a three marks so you have to remember the factors which affecting the resistance of a conductor and also the ohms law statement of the ohms law and the expression for the ohms law see i come to again come back to the 
factors affecting the affecting resistance of a conductor see from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 combining these equation r that is resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor and resistance is inversely proportional to the area of the conductor that is r is directly proportional to l and r is inversely proportional to l but combining these two equation we get another one equation r is directly proportional to L by A that is R is directly proportional to length of the conductor inversely proportional to area of the cross section of the conductor it implies this R is equal to rho rho into L by A what is rho here where rho is a constant of proportionality and it represents electrical resistivity that is rho represents electrical resistivity this R is equal to rho into L by A resistance R is equal to rho into L by A where rho is the constant of proportionality and it represents electrical resistivity Next, it implies as rho is equal to rho is equal to rho is equal to S R A that is resistance into area of cross section divided by length of the wire. This expression is very important for your for your problems, for your numerical problems based on the electricity, you have to remember this expression and also this expression and also this one. These are very important expressions for the numerical problems. From the electricity chapter, two marks, one problem should be asked and also three, three to four marks, one question should be asked on numerical problems. So you have to concentrate more on the problems because these are the very easiest problems and we get very easily the marks. Okay, resistivity rho is equal to resistance into area of cross section divided by length of the conductor. This factor, the resistivity, resistivity of a conductor, it is a very important. As the resistivity increases, as the resistivity increases, the resistance of the conductor increases. Isn't it? As the resistivity increases, resistance of the conductor increases. So, the amount of the charge supplied or the amount of flow of the charge through the conductor decreases. So, it is very expensive that to pass some amount of energy through the one, one point of a conductor towards another point. If the resistivity of the conductor increases, if we are going to use a conductor which has the high resistivity, so it, it uses the lots of amount of energy to pass the charges from one point to the another point. So it is very expensive. So we are going to always we are going to use low resistivity material. For example, so the electrical el energy coming from hydroelectrical stations to our home, it covers a lots of distance. They are going to use to transfer the electrical energy through the metallic wires called aluminium. Why they are going to use the aluminium wires? Because the aluminium has a low resistivity. So other than aluminium, the other metals are also there. The, that also has the less resistivity. That is called it as a superconductor. Superconductors are nothing but gold and silver. Another one is platinum. That is silver, gold, platinum. Silver, silver, platinum and gold. The silver has a very less resistivity. But we are not going to use the silver metal in in the electrical circuit. Why? Because it's a very costliest metal. And also the platinum, it is also has a very less resistivity. But we are not going to use the platinum because it is also one of the costliest metal and also the gold. So this gold is also has a very less resistivity and it is also not used in any electrical circuits because due to the costly, the, the metal it is the very costliest metal. So, we are going to call the, these are the superconductors. Why, why we are going to call it as the superconductors? Because it has a very less resistance. So, resistivity is the main factor. As the, we are going to study, in, uh, already we studied about the factors affecting the resistance. Length of the, the resistance of a conductor increases with the length of the conductor. Resistance of a conductor 
is inversely proportional to the area of the conductor so this resistivity this resistivity is the main factor of the conductor say listen here this si unit of the resistivity is ohm the si unit of the resistance is also ohm and the si unit of the resistivity that is rho the rho represents resistivity it is a very important you have to remember this formula this expression on the basis of this expression in your examination the three marks question will be asked so you have to remember the expression rho is equal to resistance into area of cross section divided by length of the conductor the si unit of the resistivity is ohm so resistivity of alloy is generally higher than that of its constituent metals resistivity resistivity it the of alloy alloy what is alloy alloy is nothing but mixture of metal and non metal or metal and metal oxide that is not called it as an alloy the resistivity it of the alloy is generally higher than the resistivity of the metal its metal and second one alloys are alloys do not oxidize radially at high temperature so that they are commonly used in electrical devices that is they are commonly used in heating electrical devices so if you are going to see in your iron box there is an a coil that will be made up of not the metal that will be made up of an alloy why because alloy is has a high resistance that has a high resistivity and high melting point and it is not oxidize easily so in your examination one marks question will be asked in the multiple choice question they are going to ask the in a electrical heating devices in a electrical heating devices the circuit or the conductor used that is alloy why because it has they are giving the options it has high resistivity high it has high resistivity high melting point it has high resistivity low melting point these are the options were given in your examination and they are going to ask for one marks question so you have to concentrate on this in electrical in home appliances or in electrical device heating electrical devices alloys are generally used because alloys has high resistivity and high melting point Be, as you know already as the resistivity of the any conductor increases as the resistivity of any conductor increases automatically the temperature of the conductor increases you have to remember that one if you considering any conductor if the resistivity of the conductor increases the temperature of the conductor increases as the temperature of the conductor increases if the conductor has a low melting point it will be melted so it will be it will be com completely melted due to the high temperature so in the electrical devices they are not going to use a metallic conductors or a metallic devices because they are going to use alloys because alloys has high resistivity and also high melting point you have to remember copper and aluminiums are used for electrical transmission lines because they have low resistivity and also low cost as i told already in the electrical task transmission lines they are going to use the copper wires or aluminum wires why because they have a low resistivity and also low cost that's why we are going to use aluminum wires or a copper wires in the electrical line transmission so this is about resistivity and potential difference and ohms law so on the basis of this ohms law potential difference and the resistivity now we are going to solve some problems numerical problems on this consider the first problem how much of work is done how much of work is done how much of work is done in moving in moving a charge of in moving a charge of in moving a charge of two coulomb across 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 two points across two points having a potential difference 
having the potential difference having a potential difference 12 volt see before going to solve the problems one side we are going to write all the formulas so what we are studying now that is first one that is PD potential difference V is equal to work done potential difference V is equal to work done divided by charge second one from the ohms law potential difference V is equal to I into R that is current into resistance third one the resistivity of a material rho is equal to R into a divided by L that is resistance into area of cross section divided by length of the conductor. See once again look at the example how much of work is done in moving a charge of two column across two points of having a potential difference 12 volt. I am considering a one conductor here. Imagine that this is a one conductor. See. How much of work is done in moving a charge of two coulomb to transfer a two coulomb charge from point A to B, from A to B, we have to find out the how much of work will be done that is W, work done W, we have to find out the how much of work done will be fine, how much of work done will be from, from moving a charge of two column from A to B across a two points having a potential difference of 12 volt having a potential difference of 12 volt they are given V potential difference so given write down given potential difference V is equal to 12 volt and also they are given charge C is equal to that is to column then what they are asked ask that is work done w is equal to what so we know that the formula potential difference v is equal to work done divided by charge it implies we have to find out the work done so transfer the charge here work done is equal to potential difference into charge that is what is the potential difference 12 volt into charge is 2 coulomb that is work done is equal to 24 joules to transfer the 2 coulomb of charge in a potential difference 12 volt we need 24 joules of energy or we have done a 24 joules of work Okay, this is the problem. Under one problem we are going to solve now. How much current how much current will an will an electric bulb drawn electric bulb drawn from a from a 220 volt source from a 220 volt source 
if the resistance of the bulb filament if the resistance of the bulb filament if the resistance of the bulb filament is 1200 ohms see how much current will an electric bulb drawn from a 220 volt source how much current will an electric bulb how much current that is they are going to ask current i is equal to what what they are asked i is equal to what and what they give how much current will on an electric bulb drawn from a 220 volt source that is 220 volt source that is potential difference v is equal to they are given potential difference v is equal to 220 volt and so if the resistance of the bulb filament is 1200 ohms and also they given the resistance r is equal to 1200 ohms and then what they are asked i the current how much current will an electric bulb drawn that is i is equal to what so what is the suitable formula to calculate the i is equal to that is electric current it is nothing but v is equal to ir that is nothing but on the ohms law we know that we know that v is equal to ir but what they are asked i is equal to what that is i is equal to v divided by r i is equal to v divided by r okay substitute the values of v and r i is equal to v by r what is the value of v that is 220 volts divided by r what is the value of the r that is 1200 ohms that is equal to this zero this zero get cancel and the answer is 22 ohms that is it is equal to 0.18 amps i is equal to 0.18 amps this is the way how we are going to calculate the electric current so we should remember what they are given and what they are asked we have to clearly write down the data what they are given and what they are asked so next another one example i am considering here how much of current how much of current will how much of current will an electric heater coil will an electric heater coil will an electric heater coil draw draw from two twenty volts of source if the resistance of the heater coil is if the resistance of the heater coil is
if the resistance of the heater coil is 100 ohms once again you have to look at the example how much of current will an electric heater coil draw from a 220 volt source if the resistance of the heater coil is 100 ohm that write down the given data what they are given that is first one is they give potential difference v is equal to 220 volts and what they are given resistance resistance of the heater coil r is equal to 100 ohm again once again what they are asked how much of the current that is electric current i is equal to what asked i is equal to what again by the ohms law we know that v is equal to ir and it implies us i is equal to v by r what is the value of v here 220 volts divided by the value of resistance is 100 ohms this zero this zero get cancelled that is i is equal to 2.2 that is i is equal to 2.2 amps okay this is the required answer what they are what they are asked this is the required thing what they are asked so these types of examples should be asked for two to three marks question in your examination you have to concentrate on the ohms law v is equal to ir you have to remember the formula that what is potential difference potential difference is equal to what the work done divided by a charge Poten then potential difference is equal to the electric current into the resistance that is given by the ohms law and the resistivity rho is equal to resistance into area of cross section and divided by length of the conductor again i am considering another one example on this consider another one example resistance of a metal wire resistance of a metal wire resistance of a metal wire of length of length 1 meter is 26 ohms at 20 degree celsius if the diameter of wire is if the diameter of wire is if the diameter of the wire is 0.3 mm that is millimeter what will be the resistivity what will be the resistivity what will be the resistivity of the metal of the metal at that temperature See students, once again you look back the example. Resistance of a metal wire of length 1 meter. Let us, I am considering one conductor or a wire. Say I am considering this, the length is 1 meter. That is, resistance of a metal wire of length 1 meter. The resistance of this wire is 26 ohms. 26 ohms and at 20 degree celsius if the diameter of the wire is 0.3 mm diameter diameter of the wire is 0.3 mm 
0.3 millimeter what will be the resistivity of the metal at the temperature at that temperature see what they are asked write down first solution what they are given given first they are given length of the conductor or the length of the wire l is equal to 1 meter then next what they are given resistance resistance of the wire r is equal to 26 ohms and next diameter of the wire d is equal to 0.3 mm see listen here the length of the wire will be given in the meter in the terms of meter we are going to convert the diameter of the wire in terms of meter that is how is equal to 0 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter so what they are asked rho is equal to what what they are asked resistivity of the wire rho is equal to what by the using this formula resistivity is equal to resistance into area of cross section divided by length of the wire that is we know that we know that resistivity rho is equal to resistance into area of cross section divided by length of the wire that is resistance of the wire but now we are going to find out the area of cross section area of cross section of the wire we don't know so we have to find out using the diameter area of the cross section of the wire it is nothing but the it is a circular form it is in the circular form we are going to find out the area of cross section of the wire that is area of one cross section that is equal to area of a circle that is equal to pi r square but now we don't know the value of the r but they are given what is the diameter diameter is nothing but this one they given diameter we know that radius is equal to diameter divided by 2 that is 0 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 2 that is equal to r it is equal to it comes r is equal to 0 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 2 meter we are going to take it then we are going to find out the area a is equal to pi that is 22 divided by 7 into r square r is 0 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 2 it's a square because we are going to find out the area of the cross section of the wire we don't know the area of the cross section of the wire write down all the data in this expression rho is equal to what is the value of the r here 26 into area area it is pi r square pi r square area me the value of a a is equal to pi r square that is 22 divided by 7 into 0 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 2 it's a square so that is 22 divided by 7 into 0 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 2 it's a square divided by length of the wire is 1 meter that is equal to rho is equal to if you are computing this problem you get the answer of rho is equal to 1.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 ohms this is the resistivity of the given wire so 
these type of problems will be asked in your examination for three marks question so you should concentrate more on these problems the electricity chapter will be contain some other problems from these problems in the examination they are going to concentrate mainly on the problems one for two marks another one is three marks and another one is four marks so you have to concentrate on the problems other problems will be discussed in the next session